last time on Dragon Ball Z. These dudes look like they are four foot six max. Tell me these dudes do not look three feet tall. What a screen. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Hey! Yo, what is up? It is Kingdom, and I got another My NBA video today. I made a video just like this, making the entire NBA 5'4", so if you haven't seen it, be sure to check that one out. And if you do enjoy this video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. Other than that, enjoy the video. So here's the new and improved 7'7 seven seven NBA League. Giannis finally leads the league in overall. It just took him being 7'7". Seven seven. Kawhi Leonard 3rd, Anthony Davis 4th. The rest of the NBA players, if you really want to see. Everybody's overall did seem to improve though. In the last video about 5-4 players, I followed around Zion. In this video, I'm going to pick my boy Steph Curry. I really just want to shoot threes with the 7-7 seven seven Steph Curry, if I'm being honest. So the first game of the season is going to be against the Clippers. Steph Curry in the first game of the season drops 31 points. Andrew Wiggins actually shows up. Kelly Oubre with an inefficient 19. Klay Thompson with an inefficient 13. Paul George and Kawhi Leonard came out and hooped. Let's check out the stats so for one more game. Steph Curry again leading the team in points like he's going to have to do for the entire season this year. Klay Thompson still not back into old form yet. Dort is the second best player on this team. And it's only right to play against the last video's player and that's Zion. So let's start it. That's a big ass team. Oh my goodness. Steph Curry still got the strap. Kobe. Zion Williamson looks the same. Zion Williamson gains multiple inches to his height and is now taking jumpers. I'd much rather play with all 7 7 players than a regular game, honestly. Ooh. No. Eric Blood to retire. He's got to respond. He's got to say something. What? It, ooh. All right. All right. My bad. With that though. Oh. Hold up. This is low key turning personal. Get that dumb shit out of here. Yo, know, that's a good shot. <laughs> Alright, TK. It looks like these. It looks like these dudes are playing on a mini hoop. Especially every time they drive. I don't know why I'm driving with Steph Curry like he's gonna dunk it. What is dude doing on the core? It's mid game. Hold up. I don't know how it took me so long to notice that. I started dribbling up and dude is literally, what is he doing? He could have, he's trying to trip Zion Williamson. Kelly Uber is trying to trip Zion Williamson. All right, I'm about to KD the Warriors and go to the Pelicans. All right, finally we got Zion. All right, Zion, this is a poster. Ooh, it's flashy. Yup. The vert. That was like an eight inch vertical if you didn't see that. It looks like he jumped incredibly high here. If we really investigate the tape, back out the footage, that is at most an eight inch vertical. All right, if I make this, if I make this, I'm hitting a million subs. You heard it. You heard it. I said it. That was the first one I took. All right, let's run it back. Let's run it back. All right, I just need to start. I just need to start taking better shots. Mm, that's a 10. We're done. A couple weeks into the season, Bradley Beal is leading the league in points. Luca second. Harden shows up for the 7 7 version. Westbrook, they both. Look at this. Who was really the problem? Joel Embiid leads the league and rebounds at 16. 16 was the exact same number as it was with the 5-4 video, so. DeMontis Sabonis is second. And no matter how you put it, Luka Doncic is the best rebounding point guard the world has ever seen. Ben Simmons averages 25 and a generous 13 assists a game. Steph Curry second, Jokic third, LeBron fourth. All right, we're swimming through the all-star break and then we'll look at stats then. At the All-Star break, Luka Doncic is leading the league in points. Harden is second, and Embiid third. Beal drops the fourth. DeMontis Sabonis takes first for rebounds at the All-Star break. Put him up to 7-7, and he's the best rebounder in the league, according to 2K. 
LeBron James takes his role and gets 10.3 assists a game, leading the league. Obi Toppin is leading all rookies in points per game. Killian Hayes led the 5-4 rookies in assists. Andy leads the 7-7 rookies in assists too. Fire three-point percentages right here. We're going to simulate to the end of the season and report back. Every team is just mid. Except for the Thunder. The, the Thunder managed to do bad every time, but, but every team is really just kind of mid. The best record in the league was 59-23. and 23. The 76ers have the best record in the league. The Bucks are the Bucks are 48 and 34. The Raptors are the same. The Nets are close. Boston's close. Miami's close. Cleveland's there. Every every team is kind of close. And in the Western Conference, the Clippers lead. Dallas second. Golden State with the healthy Klay Thompson coming third. The Lakers are in fourth. Pelicans fifth. Phoenix sixth. But every single one of these is close, really. The biggest thing is how close everything is league-wide. Luka Doncic wins MVP. LaMelo Ball actually takes Rookie of the Year. Devontae Graham averaging 21 points off the bench. Giannis Defensive Player. DeJounte Murray wins Most Improved. Doc Rivers wins Coach of the Year. NBA first team, second team, third team. Really everyone you expect. Defensive team, second team. LaMelo Ball leading the rookies. In the first round, the Clippers take on the AC Nuggets. And in the Eastern Conference, Philadelphia takes on the AC at Indiana Pacers. Let's simulate the first round. Suns are gone. Cleveland's gone. New Orleans gone. Nets are gone. Nets are gone. Pacers are gone. Grizzlies are gone. The Raptors are gone. Clippers are gone. The Clippers lose in seven to the Denver Nuggets again. Lakers kick ass. Golden State kicks ass. Dallas seals it. Philadelphia gets by. Brooklyn, Brooklyn loses, but it is to the Celtics. Miami gets by Toronto in seven. And then Milwaukee sweeps Cleveland. All right, time for the second round. Miami Heat are gone. Denver's gone. Dallas is gone. 76ers are gone. Lakers sweep Denver. Healthy Golden State beats Dallas. Boston beats Philly in seven. And Milwaukee has not lost a game yet. First round. Game one. Lakers take game one. Boston takes game one. Golden State takes game two. Boston takes game two. Both series are even 1-1. One, one. Lakers and Milwaukee take the advantage. Golden State ties it up against the Lakers. Milwaukee takes the lead against Boston. The Boston Celtics lose in five. The Lakers take the lead against the Warriors. And it is a game seven, LeBron and Anthony Davis versus Klay Thompson and Steph Curry. A scene that LeBron James has seen a few times. But this is nothing, this is nothing he can't do. It is a close game. All right, hold on. It is going, and it went into OT. Lakers are up three. Tie game, tie game again. It is tied. The Lakers barely win in seven in overtime. The Lakers face the Bucks in the finals. Round one of the finals. The Bucks take it. The Bucks have lost one game in the playoffs so far. Game two. Lakers win this one. The Lakers win game three, too. The Bucks tied up 2 2. Round five. The Lakers go up 3 2 on the Bucks. The Lakers barely win. LeBron James, your finals MVP, with 28.3 points per game, 11 rebounds, and 10.2 points per game, averaging a triple double. Giannis just does not show up to the elimination game. But Anthony Davis and LeBron James do. Even Kyle Kuzma showed up to this one. LeBron James in a Game 3 win has 40 points, 11 rebounds, 12 assists. While the next leading scorer is 16. Giannis with 15 points. 
now that everybody's 7-7, seven, seven, he is just getting locked up. 8 for 30, 2 for 10 from 3, 18 boards up. Oh my. So the Los Angeles Lakers are your 7'7 seven seven champions. Taking the best team in the league and making them 7'7, seven seven, I'd say this outcome is pretty realistic. But if you did make it this far into the video, please leave a like and make sure you subscribe for future content. I'm out.